Supposed to meet the PM, got ditched. Thought maybe the tennis would be home. Not the case. And eventually, I believe the city of Cleveland is going to get their enforcement dialed in. So y'all better get on the bandwagon of understanding that you need to get your properties lead certified every two years if you would like to operate as a landlord in the city of Cleveland, right? That uh, sign really makes the property pop. Oh, oh hey. hey. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. People come to Cleveland for cash flow, y'all. People watch the show to buy properties, learn about properties, get all the inside info on those cash flow properties in Cleveland, right? That's what we're doing. Check this one out. 4309 Bush Avenue, okay? Now, this particular house, guys, I like this one. This is a duplex, okay? And it's already uh, pretty darn close to turnkey, right? You already have two tenants in there, uh, both paying eight seventy-five a month. So you're bringing in seventeen fifty a month. I guess a couple years ago, before this investor, uh, the current investor who bought this thing, he bought it in like 2022. Uh, prior to him buying it, it was uh, pretty recently renovated. Like they, uh, you know, cleaned up the units. Everything looks pretty modern in there, right? You got the gray walls, and you know they got pretty darn good market rents, right? Eight seventy-five a piece, right? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, no issues there, right? That's exactly the kind of rent they should be generating, guys. Seventeen fifty for a price point of only one twenty-nine nine. That ain't no bad thing here in the Cleveland market, guys. That's what you want. But if you'll notice. I said kind of turnkey, close to turnkey. There is one little caveat, and a lot of people out there don't know this. A lot of realtors don't know about it, aren't talking about it. And uh, that's, I think, why Holton Wise has been successful and why Holton Wise has been the number one uh, game in town for this kind of stuff for whoosh, over 10 years at this point. Uh, because we provide the education and the transparency. Uh, what this property still needs to do, it hasn't been done. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the seller didn't even know about it. So I'm assuming the person that sold it to him didn't know about it. And I'm a person, assuming the person that's managing this property for him didn't know about it because he had no idea when we brought it up to him. But this property is not yet uh, lead certified, right? So technically... Uh, that's a problem. That is, uh, could become a building code violation for this particular seller. Uh, these are new laws. Cleveland has created very new lead certification laws. And anytime the government does something, guys, uh, it's done incredibly efficiently, effectively, and it's like a seamless transition, right? Uh, they go from no laws to these new laws, and it's all perfect, and everything goes awesome according to plan, right? Exactly. That don't fucking happen ever, right? So the city of Cleveland, uh, the rollout of these new lead certification laws, uh, you know, is understatement to say it's been fumbled and their enforcement of it has absolutely been fumbled. I mean, for a while, you actually had the Cleveland Housing Court. Uh, they were refusing to evict tenants uh, out of properties where the landlord didn't get the property lead certified, right? They were doing that for like a while uh, when these new laws came out and a lot of the landlords didn't get their properties lead certified because like a large portion of landlords did not actually do any of this, right? So that was their way of enforcing it. They would just block all of evictions right uh the problem with that though is like that's not the fucking law okay that's not how the fucking law works this is america there are laws you can't just have like a random housing court judge in cleveland just make up her own fucking laws right uh so a bunch of landlord groups they got together and they like sued and uh obviously they won because of like the fucking law and uh, that is no longer happening, right? So Cleveland's kind of trying to, like, reshuffle and trying to, like, regather and regroup and figure out how they're going to get uh, the enforcement going of their lead certification laws, right? Uh, building code violations would probably be uh, where I think they're going to end up going, right? So because of that, the fumbling, the newness of the laws, a lot of people not knowing or caring what the hell's going on, you do have a lot of properties out there that are technically uh, being operated as rentals illegally, right? They're not in compliance with all the new laws, even though the city is yet able to figure out, like, the proper way to enforce said laws, okay? Uh, the point of all this 
is guess what y'all hold wise we know what's up and we are here to provide all that info to you right i actually made a lead certification video it's a 30 minute video i'm going to link it to the notes probably below this video if you're watching your holton wise tv on youtube if you're watching your holton wise tv somewhere else like tiktok or threads or twitter or uh instagram or truth social or rumble or anything like that our website it's might be somewhere different than below, but on YouTube, I know it's below, right? You click that, you guys should watch that because you need to underwrite that into this deal, right? This deal kills the 1% rule, right? If we were trying to sell this to you with the 1% rule, we would be able to sell it to you for a hundred seventy-five thousand, right? It's only one twenty-nine nine. It's bringing in seventeen fifty in rent today. Doesn't look like you need to do uh, any work to this other than getting it lead certified, but that is the point of the video that is me trying to explain to you guys. You do need to underwrite that into your plans because eventually Cleveland's going to get it figured out and that is something you're going to need to take care of. You are going to need to get it lead certified and to see how the process of getting it lead certified is going to work, uh, get a generalized idea of how much it's going to cost you, you're going to need to watch my lead certification video because the whole process is actually pretty convoluted and confusing. I can't just like stand up here and be like, go! Oh! It'll be six grand, right? I don't know. There's like a lot of things that need to go with it, right? With this particular property, I wouldn't be too, too worried about it because like I said, the guy that bought it uh, that didn't really know about any of these laws and stuff, uh, the people that sold it to him the year prior, uh, they did fix it up, clean it up, right? So I don't think you're going to be in like a dramatically expensive uh, lead certification uh, renovation or anything of that nature because like it doesn't look like you got uh, a bunch of issues going on here because it's all pretty fresh. But you need to watch the other lead certification video to really gather up uh, some more info on how this works, right? It's good, even if you don't buy this property from you guys, it's good for you to become one of the investors that's actually informed on what's happening in the city of Cleveland if you're going to be buying rental properties. Because guess what? Despite the fact that the laws and the enforcement, and it's all been fumbled, and it's all kind of up in the air, a little bit confusing, and a lot of people don't know what's going on, these laws aren't going anywhere, folks. And eventually, I believe the city of Cleveland is going to get their enforcement dialed in. So Y'all better get on the bandwagon of understanding that you need to get your properties lead certified every two years if you would like to operate as a landlord in the city of Cleveland, right? So you're definitely probably going to need to spend a few bucks doing that lead certification renovation at some point after you buy this, right? Uh, so your total price should be definitely be more than like 129.9 i don't know is it going to be like a few grand of repairs possibly could it be more possibly uh again you'll have to watch the lead certification video to see how the bidding process and certification process is going to go but other than that the thing's a banger man it's good you got two tenants they're both paying market rent and guess what you're in the Metro Health area, man. I know everybody calls that the Clark Fulton neighborhood, but I call it the Metro Health area because it is right down the friggin' road from the Metro Health campus, a campus that is investing over $60 billion in their campus and the surrounding neighborhood, right? It's actually my favorite uh, neighborhood in the city of Cleveland, right? You look at the low-income neighborhoods where you're getting, like, you know, lower-income tenants, Section 8 tenants, things like that. The city of Cleveland, there is no shortage of those neighborhoods. They're all over the place. But this is the only one that I know of that's got over $60 billion of investment committed to it, right? So I think if you're trying to buy for cash flow today and appreciation tomorrow, this is probably the neighborhood where you want to be, right? Think about getting into, like, Detroit Shoreway, Tremont, Gordon Square, like, 10 years before they became popping, right? In my opinion, I think you got a potential uh, opportunity to do that here, right? So... I do like this neighborhood, the Metro Health Clark Fulton neighborhood, quite a bit, and I do think this property is quite nice, and I think now that you know exactly what's going on and you could uh, underwrite all that lead information uh, into your offers and like knowing what you're going to be dealing with, I think you're going to be set up for success, and that's what we do here on Holton Wise. Even if you don't buy this house from me, guys, I think that if you're trying to invest in the city of Cleveland, I like to think at least uh, that you learned a little something 
today that you could put in the memory bank there for the next time a property comes available that you are interested in. But for those of you that are interested in crushing that 1% rule and you do want to buy this duplex, very simple process to submit an offer. Send it to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your proof of funds or your pre-approval letters. If you want to finance it, that's totally cool. Should have no issue appraising. Should have no issue qualifying for financing. It's in great condition. If you want to pay cash, that's totally fine, but you don't have to. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Just send me an email. Hey, man, want to buy 4309 Bush? I want to pay one twenty nine nine pre-approved. Here's my letter. Let's rock and roll, James. Let's go. You've been saying that for a year, John. I don't think you're really going to give me the rights. I asked the two skinniest kids I've ever met for rights. <laughs> fuck did Pete do to this thing? We're having some technical difficulties. You want to wipe me down? I don't wipe got a cloth. Use your shirt, big boy. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. I got really confused. I thought that, uh, that, like, badass engine was coming from that fucking minivan. Anybody here got a car for sale? Looking for a car. So we're here at uh, 4309 Bush Avenue. It's supposed to meet a PM, but apparently <laughs> answered his phone or text yeah, us. I think we're far, probably enough minutes in that I can say whatever I want. By this point, James has already gone through his whole spiel about like the yeah, breakdown. I mean, he said, "Don't worry about it because he'll cut it out." So okay. Yeah. And then, and then, since when did become a bad word? I just saved someone's tire. Oh my God, dude, this is the worst footage of all time. It's too humid for this shit. Um, it's not. Well, you know, it's just frowned upon. You could be canceled. Yeah, that's true. Cut that out. I don't want to get canceled. I use the internet sometimes. You're like, yo, what was that man who said <laughs> word on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even censor it. You didn't even say like a <laughs> word. That was the joke. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Is this supposed to be the same lot? Uh, I don't know, dude. But this is definitely 4309. Uh, you can tell by how they painted it the same color as the porch. I'm surprised these people get mail. So, we're supposed to be at PM. Uh, no one's here. Tenant or otherwise. Yeah. We're gonna knock though, you know, because why waste a trip? Due diligence or whatnot. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to get in. I'm not even good at this feel. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Just ask them, tell them that we were here, sent a film by the PM. These are really nice. These are growing well. These flowers. These are nice. Huh. Let's be have a nice yard. Should buy this property just so you can admire the next door. <laughs> okay. So, so far so good. You think the uh, doorbell works? No, probably not. You can try it. No, uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to see that. 
Mm, no, it doesn't really pick it up. Supposed to meet the PM, got ditched. Thought maybe the tennis would be home. Not the case. But, threw up a sign. We knocked. We did our due diligence. Let's uh, film let's, the outside, uh, I guess. Yeah, let's do the outside. Beautiful. A really loud, really large bee above us. That uh, sign really makes the property pop. Oh, oh hey. hey. Hello. Did they tell you we were coming today to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we are we okay to come in? Yeah, come on. Okay, are I'm gonna. Are you aware if your neighbors are at home? Um, they actually want to be aware too. They should be on their way to put it up now because they normally get off from work around like 2, 3 o'clock. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna film the outside real quick for this and then I'll. Your cat's creeping up. Katie's trying to. Uh... I'll close this for you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. We'll knock yeah, when we're. We'll knock on that door up there when we're about to come in. Okay, fine. Hey oh. <laughs> oh hey, well, you finish this up. I'm gonna go grab a light real quick. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you could grab the light. The stick light's probably the best one. Can't really get down that side too well, but yeah, I'm not trying to get all. Hold on, we can knock on that. Yep. I'll save the door. Okay. The... He's just waiting for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.